We have to kind of duck underneath the rock. I could eat all that by myself, but... <laughs> These are truly fall off the bone. Come to my cap. It was my pleasure Thank to meet you. Thank you very much. Come my cap. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. 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 I'll bye-bye. see you. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Javier, you're watching Retire Recharge Rome, and we're going to show you in this video our travels through the Isan region of Thailand. At the end of the video, we're going to make a stop at one of our favorite restaurants we found in Tao Bo, near Nong Kai. It's a great family-run restaurant with great food, so stick around until the end, and you'll get an idea of our first impressions and honest opinion of Isan. Market goes. Yeah, it goes forever. Going for mm-hmm. One of the fun parts of this stop was the 30th anniversary drone show and fireworks for the Friendship Bridge anniversary. And we had a pretty interesting visit to the Dragon Ray Aquatic Center where we got to see some of the manta rays and stingrays in captivity. So this was pretty interesting. Following that, we went to go have some Yisan stock chicken. <laughs> And it was very good. It was very tasty. The next stop on our trip through Isana was to Bunkan, where we drove through the countryside and took in some of the rubber tree plantations before we got to the first stop, which was Hin Samwan. Cute little bungalows. Okay, come, let's go. Okay. In Samwan, or the Three Whale Rock, was a very interesting place, and it was pretty stunning uh, how beautiful the scenery was around us. There were six stops in total, but this was probably the most amazing, the first stop. Our next stop in Bunkan was at Wat Putok where we stayed at a pretty nice garden type guest house area and took the steps up the mountain side temple with a temple dog that was our guide. We won't, to a guide. Yeah, we won't get lost. We have our just all the way up. I'm not sure. I'm not, <laughs> wow. Not sure. Mm-hmm. This is nice view. Yeah, look at that view. Right, here we go. It's a good thing we got a tour guide. We have to kind of duck underneath the rock. <laughs> We wouldn't want to be up here during the rain. But we thought we were done, but there's a whole other <laughs> side that comes around. Now we're down on the fifth floor. And it's, I guess it's coming around back to the front. So we're on another one of these catwalks. It walks to the electrical cable. Okay. And we're going to walk down that way.
Okay, so Nokai and Bunkan were both in previous videos. You can follow the links for more detailed information. But now we're in Nokon Panom. So while we were in this province, we visited the most of the eight sacred stupas, which was pretty interesting. Each of the temples represents a day of the week, and the significance uh, corresponds to the day of the week that you were born. So we made our best attempt to visit as many of these temples that we could. I think we visited all but maybe one of these. And what is Patat Mahasai is Wednesday and the daytime. Oh. Yeah. And what what uh, Maluka Nakon is Wednesday at the night time. Okay. And I think it's we. Where is it that there should be one? It should be Thursday. Oh, this one. This one is Thursday. This is a temple. Yeah. yeah. Its name is. Oh, it's right here. What? What? Patat Pasit. It's on Tuesday. It's on Tuesday. Oh, oh, no, no. That on Thursday. This is Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Thursday, not on Tuesday. And uh, what Patat Uten is on Friday. Okay. Yeah. What Mahatha does be on Saturday. And then what? That Tapang is that is not the day any day. You can visit it. So we started at Wat Bata Yu Ten and that's special significance for those born on Friday. Those who pay respect here are blessed with a life as bountiful and bright as the rising sun. We took a nice drive along the riverside in Taiyutan and drove by the clock tower, which seems to be common in a lot of these towns and villages, and stayed in a pretty nice guest house right on the riverside. So in the evening or late afternoon, we got a chance to just kind of relax by the river, which was nice. This next temple was Wapratat Mahachai and is special for those born on Wednesday during the day. From there we drove through the city of Nakon Panom and the famous Naga on the riverside. So we took some time to stop and take a look. While we were there, we stumbled into a, it looked like a cultural or a dance troupe. So we spent some time just kind of watching and taking in the sights. Next, we went to Wat Mahadat, which is special for those born on Saturday. Wat Maruk Kanakon is special for those born on Wednesday evening. And it was really interesting because it had an in interior chamber that you could walk through. Typically people walk three times around the temple. Here uh, you could walk inside the inner chamber and pay your respects. Hello everyone, good morning. 
we are in our home here in Tat Panom. Found a nice little guest house just off one of the main roads. Yeah, it's a neat place. Once you're off the main road, it gets pretty quiet. <clears throat> and it's filled with these mango trees. So yeah, a lot of greenery. Enjoying this place. We'll be here for a couple of nights in Tat Panom. Did a little bit of exploring yesterday. Tapanov is a fun, a fun little place. I guess it's not little, it's a pretty big town. Right on the river, just south from the Kunpanom. So we did a little bit of exploring yesterday, and apparently Tapanom is famous for a pagoda or a temple that's here in town. I think they have a celebration or a festival every year. So we'll have to maybe come back sometime during that. Might, maybe it's reminiscent of the the uh, Tat Luang Festival that's in Vien Shan. Oh. Good job. Wow. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. He's a professional. Looks like we found a steakhouse. We go for a good steak. Been in Thailand for about a week. Let's see what they got here. Huh, we got a butcher shop. Seven sixty nine baht for kilo. The price is not bad. Not bad? Yeah, some of this one, for example, this one is the data here, but it's a quarter kilo. Oh, that's a T mount. Next time we'll bring a cooler. Special. Got a good one. Thank you. 
second, actually third day, it's been our second night in Dang Noi, and so now we're going to walk around the park that we have here. We, we've been relaxing the last couple of days, so let's take a walk around. The story of Dang Noi comes from supposedly a battle that occurred 400 years ago between the Thai and Lao people. When the Lao people were defeated, they migrated south to the Pung River. And turtles were abundant in this area, so the settlement was named after the turtle's presence. Sometime later, a giant turtle stack shoe was erected in the area. <laughs> to Wata Padan. We gotta take a shuttle up to the top. Wat Tam Padan is located in the Pupan mountain range, about 35 minutes from downtown Sokon Nokon. And it has pretty vast temple grounds, over 1,100 acres in many ways thought of as a museum of sacred art it has one of the most impressive collections in the kingdom and it has pretty stunning views of the mountainside <laughs> no. Ah, that's happy net. Is it? Yeah. yeah. What time, I'm going to walk the 119 steps up yeah, the mountain.
The next place in Sokona Cone we went to was Tare Village. And the history of this is it has the largest population of Christians in the country of Thailand. Apparently there was a large migration back in the 1800s from Vietnam. And it has some buildings that are, are reminiscent of Savannah with the old colonial style buildings. So we thought that was, was pretty interesting. While we were in Sakonakon, we also went to the Cathedral of St. Michael, the Archangel. So this has some pretty interesting history, but as the largest Catholic cathedral in Thailand, it's very famous. It's also shaped like a boat and has some pretty prominent sculptures, uh, including the one of St. Michael holding a spear uh, on the church grounds. And there is also a bell tower located on the church grounds. Here's our first stop for the day. We are at Gupana. This looks like an old ruins from the Khmer time. Some Cambodian influence. Gupana. We're in Banpana. And Gu Pana. Gu Pana. And it looks, yeah, it resembles kind of the uh, Khmer architecture from Champasat. Actually, this reminds me a little bit of the Angkor, Angkor Wat. Yeah, walking around here is reminiscent of walking around Angkor, Angkor Wat. Similar kind of architecture and the sandstone block. It's like we're in Angkor Wat. But it's a small scale of what you would see at Angkor. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Pretty neat place. A lot of history here. So it's reminiscent, to me, it's reminiscent of 
the architecture you would see at Angkor Wat in Cambodia or even some of the temples in Champasak, like Wat Bu. Wow, look at this. Here's a little bit of history for those that want to read about it. You can pause this and look later. Looks like it was built during the early 13th century. It's quite a place. Next place we visited was Kamshanak, which is a Buddhist temple about 100 kilometers from Udantani. And supposedly a large Naga resides in this area. Oh, yeah, look at that. Lotus flowers on the boardwalk. Our guest house is right behind us. We just crossed the street. We're trying to go for a nice walk in the morning, but it's already getting a little bit warm and humid. Oh yeah, this is pretty. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's nice. Wow, look at those big flowers. There's the big lotus flowers. It's pretty. And we're ending our time in Isan by spending a few days in Kabul. And while we're here, we are visiting the Wat Champu Ongtu, famous temple in the area. Spent three or four days in Kabul, pretty much just relaxing, going to the temple. And then we found a pretty amazing restaurant, which we'll show you at the end of this. Okay, this is our last day in Tabal. 
So we're just finishing up everything. Had a good time here at this guest house. And found a great restaurant yesterday where we had some pizza and had such a great time there that we're going to go back and try some of their ribs, some of their spare ribs. We were driving around yesterday and found this Italian pizza restaurant and it was actually really good pizza. We had the Hawaiian pizza. And while we were there we got to talk into the owner and her husband and they mentioned to us that they also make some pretty good spare ribs. So we're going back today to try the spare ribs. So if you come in, you cross the dam, then you know you're coming the right way. And here we go, getting up to the front of the restaurant. Here it is. Italian food by Boom. So this is Boom. Hi, Boom. The owner of the restaurant. The owner of the Italian restaurant. Italian pizza. Pretty good. Looking. <laughs> I just want to bite into the whole thing. Oh my god. No, you we <laughs> they have the knife and the this for you. Ooh. Comes right off the back. That should be. You've been cooking that for so many hours, you know. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Oh my god, smell good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah. Smell very good. Hopefully, they taste. How taste is that? It tastes really good. Yeah. Has a, a dry rub. A little smoky. Yeah, I smell. I already my mouth already watering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that close hop, but with a little bit of different flavor. Carrot. Oh, it's carrot. Close hop, but made with carrots. Ah. Should be good, don't you? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it has raisins in it. Interesting. <laughs> wow. The the purple cap it too. Mm. And carrot. Great homemade French fries mm -hmm. and some really good barbecue ribs. Yeah. So we're just doing a taste a taste of the yeah. ribs. We're gonna save these for later. <laughs> and then we're gonna have some pizza. We're gonna have some pizza too. You like that? It's fantastic. Good. My gosh. Good. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Start this morning. Early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's wow. good looking. Look at that. Good looking Ooh, that. It's good, man. I could uh -huh. eat all that by myself. But. <laughs> Bo! Bo! We die, we die, we die! <laughs> I probably wouldn't feel very good after then that. Then you cannot drive or walk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. This is the mm -hmm. best barbecue we've had since Cup Texas. Mm -hmm. Okay! Just as good as Texas. Cup yeah. Cup. It's good. <laughs> I do! Mm -hmm. I do I, Mac? So we just got another sample of the spare ribs from Zos and these are truly fall off the bone. You can see how tender and juicy these are. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. Come up. What day we're going to pass by around here. Mm. <laughs> wow. These are good. Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> mm hmm. These are good. good. Yeah, it's so tender. Oh my god. <laughs> it does. Yeah, it just comes right off. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Guys, you gotta come and try these spare ribs. Yeah. Wow. They're so good. They're really good, job. Mm. Mm. These are just as good as any I would have had in Texas. Yeah, these are good. Mm -hmm. And here's our pizza. Mm -hmm. Half pepperoni, half in veggie. Half pepperoni, half veggie? Mm hmm. And veggie includes pineapple. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Mm, hello. No, come on, people like me. 
<laughs> Good lunch today. Yeah. Barbecue and pizza. Uh -huh. Thai style. <laughs> mm, all right, let's try this. Pepperoni, and I put some jalapenos on there. Peppers. Mm. Mm, good. I like the dough. Mm -hmm. The she secret did. to a good pizza is the dough. She do the homemade everything. That mm, yeah. Oh, she, she says, makes the, the dough from scratch? Yeah. Wow. She you can tell. Do that is the... You know, three days before they ready to mm. make pizza. All right, guys, tried the vegetarian pizza too, and that was pretty tasty. Vegetarian is interesting because it has the pineapple. <clears throat> it's good. It has a little bit of a sweet taste to it. Mm -hmm. uh, all in all, I think we would recommend this restaurant. Uh, pretty good food. Mm -hmm. Barbecue is great. Pizza is great. You can tell that they make everything by hand and using fresh ingredients. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, yeah, two thumbs up. We'll drop a link and show a map to the location of the restaurant so anybody can come. And some people might say, why are you having pizza and barbecue in, in Thailand? But uh, if it's good pizza and good barbecue, you should. You should try it because there's not a lot. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find a good restaurant that serves this kind of food. And plus, you're supporting a local, a local restaurant with mm -hmm. um, Boom who just started this restaurant uh, one month ago. Mm -hmm. So, still just getting it off the ground, but it looks like she's doing very well, mm -hmm. busy. So if you're in the area, in Nokai uh, or Tabol, mm -hmm. make sure and drop by. Mm -hmm. you, have, you have customers from Lao that come? Not that you I here? know. Okay, now you do. Now you now have. We have. <laughs> now we have. Oh, now you have to learn Lao and Thai. I need to, yeah, <laughs> I need to. Hello! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with your drone. <laughs> I, think, I think it will be. Okay, my God. Okay, bye bye. 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 bye.